Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo, and I'm so glad they did because I love figuring like this. They want each hand, the fingertips, to be in front of the next glove or hand. And you can't do it all the way around because at one point, this hand has to be behind that hand for that hand. And you do this by going back a page. So, or, so we go to object in order and we put it back a page. Now the red is in front of the blue, but the blue is behind the green. This is really kind of fun and simple, but I've done it where all the fingertips are in front of the item. So let's just do this one because I've already done that one. And we've got a blue glove that needs to be in front of this. So here's how I would do it. There's probably several ways, but this would be the best. We need to take that and go ahead and, well, I'll tell you what, to make sure we get that copyright, uh, there's a good trick. Take your eyedropper tool and get that color and put it in that square. Because we're gonna get rid of this color for just a second. I'm gonna left click and you see the outline. So what we need to do is draw a line, but we need also need to get it out of there. So I'm gonna set my nudge distance on two inches. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna nudge it up two inches. Then I'm gonna take a two point line or any really any line and just draw a line through it and I'm going to take that color. So we go to the Smart Fill tool and go right here to the color and get this eyedropper. We can pick that color. So now I'm going to fill in those two colors, but it's two separate colors. We'll get rid of our line. Sorry about that, my calculator. And let's just nudge it down and nudge that down. And now we can take this one and go to object, order, back a page. So now all the fingertips, and if we move that out of the way, we can left click, no outline. So it's just the, the colors. Uh, kind of unusual because as a laser engraver, we never really get to use colors. But that's how I would do it. I don't think if you're gonna print this, there is a line there, but I don't think it's gonna print. I'm just questioning whether we can take that one and that one and go up to object and combine it and see it doesn't work because now it's behind the page. So for the person I'm doing this for, I do not think, I can barely see the line. If you can see that line, there's a way to maybe double fill it and uh, well, you know what, let's try this. Let's uh, left click, left click both of them, take both of them and right click a blue line. Then we'll go to the Smart Fill tool. There's probably less likely to be a line there. Matter of fact, I can't see it anymore. So you just got one, you got to remember, well, you're not a laser engraver, evidently, and I also didn't fill that in. So to do that, let's back up here. We'd have to nudge this up our two inches and then fill that in with blue and nudge it down. And then we would, as a laser engraver, we wouldn't want to use a hairline, so we're making it a little bit thicker. So it, it'll actually maybe even work better. And now there should be no line and it won't cut anyway because you're printing it. So I don't see a line, so that should work. Anyway, kind of a fun project. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.